Hey there, it's Zen, the Crypto Queen, and I apologize for not making a video sooner. I have been moving from California to Florida, had to go back for two weeks. I, everything got out of control, but I just want to say this. If you enjoy this content, please hit subscribe and the bell notification so you see all my videos. Um, to clarify, even though you're looking at a lot of redness on this chart that I'm showing right now, you are still an early adapter. And it's so funny. Um, I used to say that I'm Zen, the XRP crypto queen over on Twitter. Uh, you can follow me there, but I don't post much there anymore. I find the Twitter verse ridiculous at this point in time S and people throwing out what they think are predictable numbers. It, it just makes me crazy. So I, I just don't look, I look at this and to be honest, I haven't looked in four weeks. You know why? Because I'm not cashing out anything at this point in time. I have XLM, I have Algo, I have uh, uh, TRX, I have Link, I have Atom, I have Dai, I have Matic. Uh, Matic is on, um, I stake quite a bit of my stuff. I have Sheeb, I have Dot, Doge, ADA, XRP obviously. Um, ETH and Bitcoin. And look at them all, right? They're all low. 10%, 12% down. Uh, I saw, I did check Twitter for the first time in about a week today and somebody said, what did I wake up to? Well, you woke up to this and this is a great time to buy. Now, you have to check out your coins. I've said this a million times, but I'm gonna say it a million more. When things are down 10, 12, 14%, look at VeChain. It's a great time to buy, but you gotta know what you're buying. And you also have to know what the future utility of that coin is to make sure that it's gonna be around for your future. And um, I have no doubt when they clear up the SEC uh, clarity on XRP, that things will change pretty dramatically. And I hope you're there to see it. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is I'm showing you and sharing with you the things that I do, what I buy. It is not financial advice. And I just want to say that, okay? I also, if you are completely baffled and confused, confused by anything in the crypto world, uh, you know, I do one-on-one -on -one sessions. And normally how that works is you click on the link that I will leave in the description box. If you scroll, you can watch my free webinar. It's 45 minutes long. It'll give you a good start into cryptocurrency. Uh, if you have questions after that, if you would like to use any of my links, they are all listed right at the bottom of that page. There is also a link to pay for a one-on-one -on -one session. You can pay for it first, or you can connect with me first to schedule a day, then go back and Venmo or PayPal the cash, and then we meet up. And it's always a good idea to email me a list of questions or things you want to talk about. And it's always a good idea if you want me to look at something you have in an exchange or help you move it to a hot wallet or move it to your ledger, that you have all your passwords and everything loaded onto your computer and your mobile okay because sometimes you have to go to your mobile to get your google authenticator and then you have to go back to your laptop so have everything all in one place okay that's what i wanted to say about that so let's get into a little bit of this you know there's so much that you can get involved in these days that you really, really do have to do your research. And if you're simply not interested in new exchanges, um, you know, to move things around, because I watch everything on YouTube, uh, how to move one thing from another. And a lot of staking sites, honestly, I take a pass because you have to turn it into, let's say, for instance, you have to turn your iota into zcash you put the zcash in first then you convert it to iota um it's not even the fees that get to me it's just there's too many processes that could go wrong and i i just don't deal with it so i just do some pretty straightforward uh staking at this point in time and i just put what i can over onto my ledger 
Uh, now, I did in the past get involved in several uh, several things that, how do I say, did not pan out, okay? And early on, that's how I got involved in crypto to begin with, because I wanted to do some of these programs online, some of them being trading in Forex, okay? Forex, is, in case you don't know, is uh, world currency. So you're trading U.S. dollar against uh, whatever, Japanese yen against the euro, whatever you want. You can take two other currency pairs. It really doesn't matter. That's what Forex is, is trading there. And there is a nice margin for, for making money there. But a few of the programs I got caught up in, you had to deposit, guess what, Bitcoin. This is back in the day, okay? I mean, Bitcoin was $320 per Bitcoin. And I thought to myself, I should just buy this and not put it in this program and just buy it and hold it. Yes, I should have. I probably would have cashed out a few times along the way, as I did last year. Uh, when it hit 24000 I cashed in some. So, you know, just always be thinking in terms of putting money in, go for the long-term hold, and don't look at this day to day if it freaks you out. It's kind of like looking at the stock market, to be honest. I mean, you could get freaked out by the stock market. This doesn't work like the stock market. And a lot of people think, uh, <laughs> Elizabeth Warren, I was like, oh, mama, go home, read up on it, okay? Because she said something like you're buying air when somebody was talking about Bitcoin. Uh, you know, proof of work, proof of value, proof of stake, uh, future utility. These terms don't mean anything to her. And she just, honestly, she should just read up on it more before she commits to saying um, silly things on national TV. Anyway, enough about Elizabeth Warren. And enough about this, actually. I wanted to show you, um, you know, some of the stuff that you can get involved in uh, on Twitter. Uh, one minute showing XRP bullish. You know what? I don't trade. If you want to trade, I can turn you on to people who trade. So just let me know. And I can turn you on to somebody, two people that are the only two people that I would ever follow. Okay. XRP is the goat of crypto. Okay. We got enough of that. Let's see. Let's look for anarchist, libertarian. That's pretty funny. Um, Algorand is one of the best blockchains on the market, so that's good for WADS Pay Partnership. Okay, yes, I'll go. I'll roll with that. So I just come in here and scroll through, but I I have to tell you that uh, um, some of this stuff is just it's it's nonsense. So I would prefer it if you're new to crypto, don't go here. Just go over to Coin Market Cap, and let's say somebody told you about. Chalice, and I'm saying that just because it's it's right here. So it's down 10%. Click on it, and I've shown you this before. So none of this is technically new on my channel, but I really want to show you this because sometimes you just have to pass or you have to do some research. So take a look at the to USD chart right here live data, what is it, and read that. Who are the founders, really important. What makes it unique? And then you can also go to their token pay related pages, how many coins are in circulation. Uh, so see, this is a ERC20 token, which means it runs on Ethereum. Then they're, they designed it to be BEP-2 compatible, and it's also available in a TRC-20 token on the Tron blockchain. Chain, sorry. So it's available on all of these. When will the trading begin? October 2018. Okay, you can trade it at these places, blah, blah, blah. This is the place to do your research. <clears throat> and especially if you're getting in as an early adapter when the market is severely down like this, 10, 15%. Now, I, I can tell you that, uh, let's see, they don't have, oh, they do. Okay, so either look for their white paper and it has a click like this, or you can go to their website. Let's go to their website for a second. 
Um, I set up alerts while we're waiting for this. I set up alerts on here on Coin Market Cap. Uh, I still have a little bit uh, over on Coinbase. I I still have some on. Um, I keep low amounts just in case I want to trade them out real quick. Uh, I keep some on a hot wallet also. But what you can do is just um, look at. Let's get back to this. We'll we'll talk about that in a second. Anyway, you can check out the. The exchange, oh, well, it just sent me back to, no, here we go. All right. Tokenized sports and entertainment exchange. Okay, so now you know what you're dealing with. And if you want to get involved in it, you can do that. Read up on it. Read the news about what they're doing with this particular coin. Now, why I chose this particular coin, I don't know, because I really don't know all that much about it. But let's go back to coin market cap. So yeah, on any of these, make sure you do your research and uh, let's see if there's a, okay, this also goes to quant network. Anyway, you know how to look this up uh, either from this video or from what I've told you before, but here's all your Cliff Notes information about it. You can do a read more and make sure it's something you want to hold for a time, okay? If you want to do trading, like I said, I'll turn you on to traders, okay? Um, but please don't waste your time buying things just because the a friend tells you or the name sounds familiar or any of that kind of stuff. In fact, sticking with the top uh, 20, if you don't know what you're doing at all, is probably the best way to go. Uh, you know, you don't have to buy all 20, but you can do some research on the top 20 cryptos and you'll probably be just fine. Okay. So yeah, I, at this point I stake Dai, Matic, I have Sheeb and Dot, Doge, Av Avax. Um, and I just do the long hold. And so I don't check it every day. I don't get into the volatility of it all because I know that some of them, and I hate to say it, but for taxes sake, some of them, I'm going to take a, a little bit of a hit or a loss and I'm okay with it because it's more than going to make up for it on my long holds that I know will do well later on. How do I know that? I don't know, no, but, uh, <clears throat> cause nobody can read a crystal ball. Uh, but they're good for utility purposes in the near and far future. And, um, They've got the right stuff. So make sure you check all of that and sign up for a watch list. I don't care if it's on your, um, on your exchange or you go right here, click on your watch list. You just set up a email and password and you can go in here and I have mine on my mobile. So if anything goes down 10% or up 10%, I get alerts. If it, plays around anywhere in between there, frankly, I don't care. I only want to know if it dips so I can take a look at what I might want to buy. And if it goes up by 10%, depending on what coin it is and how long I've held it, I might cash in a little. Um, I believe in taking profits along the way, and I think you should too. Um, there's also uh, a site called Blockfolio. Let me see if I can pull it up here real quick. And it's pretty similar to coin market cap. Oh, see, I have the app on my phone. And yeah, you can buy and sell here. I don't. Uh, oh, you can earn up to 8% on crypto. So I'm going to take a look at that on my app on my phone. Uh, Blockfolio, I have signal set up on here as well. So once things uh, hit 10% below or 10% above, I get all kinds of notifications going off on my phone. And that's when I pay attention. And I would love it if that's what you would do also, because otherwise you freak yourself out. You can't 